so yeah, how's how's your summer been? How's you know how you keeping the free time? During- it's been okay, you know, it's been hectic with work. I'm going through all the different phases that Virginia has been putting us under, but I've been working a lot, keeping myself sane. <laughs> uh, when when did you first like find out of the news about like women's soccer being canceled and no fall sports and? About three weeks ago, I think now, I was just getting home from Starbucks, I think, and coach was like, "Hey, important Zoom meeting." And I'm like, "Shoot." I knew what it was right away, and I remember there was only, I think, a few of us on the call when she did call, and it wasn't good news, and I was very, very upset. Yeah, I mean, you uh, unfortunately had your spring season cut short, too, with women's lax. Yeah, unfortunately, I mean, that one was cut very short. A double whammy for you, yeah. Uh, yeah it's been rough. Uh, so, I mean, how, how have you been kind of uh, staying in shape, working out, kind of just, you know... I've been working, which keeps me very in shape because I have to walk all over the place just for my job. Um, And then I go on runs here and there, but we've been getting hit with really bad storms lately. So I've been kind of stuck inside. Uh, When when you're inside, are you watching a lot on Netflix and are you like reading or listening to music? Kind of a mix of both. I've been doing like a lot of um, Netflix. I was watching... um, couple shows on there then I'd switch to music but I don't know there's not much to do around the house <laughs> uh what are what are your like shows you're watching on Netflix that you could recommend around the people I've been watching um Umbrella Academy the really good one and then I'm doing Glee and The 100 okay yeah those are a few of like the, my favorite shows that I watch periodically when there's nothing better to do <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was a washout here on Tuesday with the storm, and yeah, there's a lot of power outages and stuff still up and down the coast. So, mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's the same thing. I mean, when the weather weather was kind of ugly here, just a lot of Netflix and reading, and you know, now I'm trying to go outside and go on the trails and hike a little bit. But yeah, yeah. we still have storms here today. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so. Uh, in terms of like career and internships and that sort of thing, uh, have you done anything internship related? I have not done anything internship related. However, I am in my sort of in my field right now with what I do for my actual job. So I'm at school for to become with a psychology major and uh, dual minor in sport and rec and criminal justice. And I work as a manager at a um, water park. Okay. So I'm kind of in my field every day, um, interacting with everything that we have to go through with our water park and our mini and mini golf and batting cages. And so I get like a lot of hands on through my job. So it's kind of filling in as my internship. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, I know the the couple of water parks up our way, they opened up, they're starting to shut down again. So it's going to be interesting to see. You yeah, know. unfortunately, our water park is not open. However, our mini golf and batting cages are. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in terms of, uh, you know, the, the, uh, the, the upcoming fall, are you, are you planning on coming back to campus? Or are you going to, you know, try to do things remotely? What's kind of your plan? I debated on this one a lot for the past couple of months because it, I, do, I am from uh, Northern Virginia. Mm-hmm. So it's about a four and a half hour drive just to get up to school. And I usually dorm up at school. And the big deciding factor for me to go back to school was the fact that um, a couple of friends and I were planning on doing an independent study this coming semester. So we really wanted to work on that. And I wouldn't have been able to be as hands on if I was here in Virginia still. And just wanted to be back at school with people. Yeah, we might shut down again, and I hope not, but I just wanted to be with my friends, be at school, and do learning there as opposed to here. Yeah, hopefully we see on campus. It's going to be enough. I know everyone on campus is doing the best they can to make everything safe and social distance and a mix of uh, in-class learning and, and Zoom learning like this. So mm-hmm. it's... Uh, you know, one of those all hands on deck things and hopefully everything goes off without a hitch but 
it's definitely going to be interesting and one for the history books, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, that's, uh, that's an understatement there. It's going to be, you know, it's being on these Zoom meetings and town halls and, yeah. you know, everyone's, everyone's concerned about everyone's health, but at the same time, we kind of want to return to as a state of normalcy as soon as we can, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I kind of vouch for that one. I'd love to return back to normal and have things just be somewhat back to the way they were. Uh, and then I, I don't want, I know you have to get ready for work and stuff, so I don't want to take too much of your I time. I love them having work today. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, if you, if you go back to your career at Keystone, are there any, you know, significant memories and milestones that you'll always remember and, you know, carry on with you, whether it's on the field or, you know, just, just on campus, that sort of thing? Honestly, I would have to say, um, with the lacrosse team, when we beat Ren Athen in a very tight, close game, it was tied all the way up until the, like the last overtime. And um, me and my, my teammate Jackie Martin, we somehow magically figured out how to get a eight meter and get the ball in the net to win us that game, and it secured us a perfect season, our perfect CSAC season. But I think that was like one of the biggest memories. It's actually my um, laptop background. <laughs> so I will always carry that through my life with me because it was such a moving day for us. Yeah, that was, I remember that game. It was pretty, it was back and forth, like you said, uh, very physical game. I believe there's a couple cards in there too, uh, you know, and, and you guys battled back and, and got the, the number one seed. And I think you, you know, the, for Coach Irwin, she was undefeated on that field the whole, for, for fall and the spring mm -hmm. until the playoffs. So, I mean, that was, that was a huge, a huge moment for the program. Yeah, that was, yeah I'll be honest. I still get goosebumps thinking about it. <laughs> And I, I know what picture you're talking about. It's with, with the team, like, charging Jackie and she jumping up yeah. in the air when, when she scored, yeah. Yeah, it was just such a very monumental game for us, and just it was incredible. Yeah, it's, uh, that, I, I figured that was going to be, you know, up there. Uh, I wasn't sure if it was going to be lacrosse or, or soccer, but uh, that's, that was a good game overall. It was, it was really exciting. Uh, it was a fun game to play, too. So uh, I think I touched upon this before, but you're, 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 do you have any like workout plans from coach, coach at all, Coach Patterson or Coach Irwin? She had sent us one a couple weeks ago, and I was just getting into the motivation from like being shut down back in March to actually start working out again. So I'm like, oh, we're going back. And when she told us season was canceled, I lost all that motivation. If I'm being totally transparent, very honest. <laughs> Um, but I've already been in contact with a couple of my teammates and like a couple friends on campus and we have plans to go to the gym or go running or just anything along those lines because without a season we'll all be stir crazy. Yeah it's uh and then who knows what they're going to do with the spring. I mean they could flip a switch and say oh you got to play you're going to be playing fall sports in the spring along with the spring sports and uh you know, it's, it's going to be tough. I, I spoke to Alex Williams earlier this week, and she's like, well, we'll be in really good shape. It's going to be a scheduling nightmare, but we'll, we'll figure it out. I don't think I'll ever be in class if that's what we do. Yeah, it's <laughs> playing a lot of weekend games. Uh, I, I don't know how the, the schedule there would actually work out, uh, especially for dual sport athletes to mm -hmm. pick and choose in. And, you know, when you're needed on, you know, the women's soccer team, but the women's lacrosse team needs you too, and you're trying to play on the same day, it's going to be really, really tough. I'll be honest, that's what I used to do all the time back when I was a, a teenager back in high school. I played on a couple teams at once for soccer. So I was going from game to game to game to practice. <laughs> so I, I'm very used to that. I don't know if I can do it now, but. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, th thanks for doing this, Riley. I appreciate Thank it. Thanks for having me. Yeah, absolutely. I, I just wanted to keep it short and sweet and, you know, I'll let you go here, but yeah, again, stay safe, and hopefully we see you up here in the fall. A couple weeks. I move in on the 23rd as of now. Okay. Okay, yeah. That's a Sunday, so hopefully we see you, and yeah. uh, if I'm in the office, stop in, say hi. And, sure. I definitely yeah. will. Absolutely. Well, thanks, thanks again, Riley, and uh, I'll Thank talk you. to you soon.
Talk to you soon, Ryan. Bye. Bye.